everyone. When we have an easy, simple sentence, we're always going to use at least one subject and one verb. I am a teacher. You live in Dallas. My friend and I study English. I study and work every day. I want to eat pizza or a hamburger. These are all good, easy, simple sentences. Sometimes in English, we're going to use a compound sentence. A compound sentence has two simple sentences with an and, or, so, or but, one of my conjunctions. Here, we need to have a subject and a verb on both sides. For example, I study English and I also work at the mall. I study English is a good sentence. I also work at the mall is a good sentence. We make this a compound sentence when we have and in the middle. I go shopping and I go to the bar. These are two simple sentences and we have and in the middle. And adds extra information. We can use or to make a choice. I will eat pizza or I will cook my country's food. I won't do both, I'll do one or the other. I will eat pizza is a good sentence. I will cook my country's food is a good sentence. But when we say I will eat pizza or I will cook my country's food, this is a compound sentence. It is okay to say, I will eat pizza or my country's food, but that is a simple sentence. For this to be a compound sentence, we need a subject and a verb on both sides. Next semester, I will, I will take writing and grammar level three, or I will take a reading class. I won't do both, but I'll do one or the other. I will take writing and grammar is a good sentence. I will take reading class is a good sentence. By adding or, this is a good compound sentence. And it is also okay to say, I will take writing and grammar or reading. That's okay too, but this is a simple sentence and this is a compound sentence. For an example, um, if I say so, we're talking about a result. It is raining today, so I have my umbrella. I am very cold, so I'm wearing a heavy jacket. When we use but, but we'll talk about opposites. The teacher is very healthy and athletic, but he likes Dr. Pepper, a soda. I study very hard, but my grades aren't great. But can describe opposites, okay? I study hard, the opposite, my grades aren't very good. Here, let's make some practice for some compound sentences, okay? I'm going to eat lunch after class and I am going to study. Last night I watched TV and I talked to my family. This weekend I'm going to visit my friends or I am going to work. For a spring break I will travel to Miami or I will stay home. I am very sick today, so I won't go to class. I saw my classmate was crying, so I talked to her. I feel sick, but I want to study. My friend won the lottery 
but he didn't tell anyone. For these compound sentences, we have a subject and a verb on both sides. 